All right, everyone, we start off today talking about this very, very strange tale here where a passed out felon, uh, passed out on drugs with multiple driver's license, was found with hundreds uh, of California recall election ballots in his vehicle. Uh, that was the other day. It's in Torrance, California. Now, uh, you're not allowed to discuss the 2020 election being fortified, but as far as I know, it's perfectly fine to question the California recall election. Considering the uh, track record of uh, California uh, races uh, and all the shenanigans that go on literally every time there's an election there, uh, I think it's clear that something fishy went on here. First and foremost, before I delve into what I think happened, uh, there is a pinned comment down below if you're watching this video on YouTube. Keep in mind, I use four other video hosting sites and make two exclusive videos every day that only go on those sites that don't go on YouTube. Also, in the next couple of days, I'll have extra videos because I've got a backlog of books that I just upped to Amazon, so there'll be some uh, literary updates as well. Keep in mind, you can buy books. Links in the description of the video. Also, there's a merch page. Uh, just, just for anyone that wasn't already aware from the initial announcement, uh, there's now a Shopify setup. You can get mugs and shirts and stuff. Again, link in the description of this video cross-platform. Uh, here's the thing. Y y link in the description as well, archived, of course, to the news story. Uh, what I think probably happened is that because ballot harvesting is big in the news, everyone knows about the concept, I think that somebody was uh, uh, doing this for their own political reasons. I think this particular felon is looking at a situation where there's a very real risk uh, that Larry Elder becomes the governor of California. If you're a felon um, and you're on drugs and shit, who do you want to run your state? Who do you want to be the governor? A hardline left Democrat who is too busy with COVID shenanigans, uh, lockdownerism, to give a shit about gun crime and drug crime and everything else under the sun? Or someone who has been declared further right than Donald Trump? Who would you prefer to be your governor? Because there are really only two reasons why a person like this would engage in such behavior, which is election fraud. Uh, and it is uh, this is election fraud. You don't have to claim it's organized to realize what it <laughs> clearly is. One is if they're getting money for it. The other is if they're getting money for it. From a risk versus reward sort of perspective, which is what criminals do use, although their perspective can be flawed in how they analyze risk and reward, and, you're smoking crack with Hunter Biden, probably, uh, you know, obviously a few things are fried up there. One is to lower the, the risk of the political climate by trying to defend Newsom. So you harvest a few hundred ballots, and keep in mind, this is likely to be a fairly close recall on the first question, which is, do we recall Newsom or not? I want to know if these ballots were filled out. I want to know if they all say exactly the same thing. No to the recall. That's what I want to see. I don't think we'll ever get a mainline media update for this. The other is if someone paid the felon. The other is if someone paid the person. Hey, <clears throat> I'll give you, what, you're on drugs. Um, you're obviously violating the conditions of your release. You know, it, do it doesn't appear that you have maintained a lawful lifestyle. I'll give you a dollar for every ballot that you can harvest. So just go around, you know, they're mailing them out whenever. Check people's mailboxes at 3 a.m. and I'll give you a dollar per ballot or five dollars a ballot. You know, the DNC has deep pockets. You don't need to necessarily get that many of them uh, in order to swing an election that might be close to 50-50. This has been a perennial problem. Uh, <laughs> when you have uh, universal mass mail-in balloting and you have no ID requirement, uh, you don't have, you know, high security mailboxes, for everyone out there, especially if you send them into an area that tends to lean Republican and you're harvesting their ballots, not only are you taking the vote away from someone who probably votes to recall Newsom, you're adding a vote to preserve him. So you get a doubled effect uh, effectively. Now, if you harvest it from someone who is going to say no to the recall in the first place, you haven't changed anything. You've just <laughs> broken the law. By the way, uh, would these uh, counts stack if, if election fraud is something that he's ends up charged with or tampering with the U.S. mail? Are you going to get a count for every ballot? Are they going to be able to find out where the ballots were stolen from? I would be very surprised. Again, I would love, and, and unfortunately we're never going to get this because there's no way to check. I would love to see whose ballots were stolen where and when, and I'd love to see if these ballots were pre-filled out by this felon individual. Or if they have any contacts in their phone with someone 
uh, uh, who might be DNC adjacent, let's put it that way. Because as we've seen, Democratic operatives sometimes do stupid shit when they're on drugs. You know, a cough, cough, Hunter Biden. Uh, this is not a new thing. I mean, did he party with Hunter Biden? That'd be funny. I think a DNC operative getting paid for it, or someone who for their own reasons is just terrified of Larry Elder because they believe the news cycle and says, well, I'm sitting here smoking crack. If Elder's the governor, they'll throw me back in prison. Newsom doesn't give a shit. Newsom won't police anything. He's, he's a, a defund uh, the policer. And so, yeah, obviously, uh, I've got to vote my own self-interest two or three hundred times. One of these things I can almost guarantee is what happened here. And then probably got his crack. He got paid or whatever for the first batch. Got his crack and passed out in his car. Whoops. <laughs> that, was a, that was a mistake. That one's going to cost you. But if you expect a closure... If you expect the L.A. County uh, or, or whatever it does, uh, they had some advisory unit that was going to look into it, an ethics probe. The uh, post office is going to look into it. It's like mm, th these people, uh, you've got a vested interest in declaring that there was no paying for votes. You definitely, if you find out that this dude had like Hunter Biden in his cell phone, you think that the media is going to hear about it before the recall election occurs? They'll, they'll quietly cover it up, and then it'll be buried on page three weeks thereafter when Newsom is, is maintained because of ballot fraud. And that's what's happened here. This is a form of fraud. It doesn't matter whether it was an individual acting on their own because they've been propagandized to, or, or, or whether the individual was paid, whether there was some organized effort. Again, this is why we need to make sure ballots should be requisite upon showing ID. There shouldn't be universal mail-in voting. No, virtually no civilized nation in the world with what we would conceive of as a rudimentarily fair election system uses that system. None of them. You have to show ID to get your ballot. When you vote here, when you vote in, in most of the rest of the world that Bernie Sanders wants us to be more like, you don't have the kind of fraudulent, potentially, election system that you have in parts of the U.S. And again, a lot of it's state level. Most of it is not federal. Most of it's handled by the states. This is why they're having a public national discussion about, well, do we want voter ID? Well, that sounds like voter suppression. I think we need to expand access. Well, expand access to who? Everyone can already show up and show their ID in any state. They get their fucking ballot. That's that. There is no voter suppression. Meanwhile, you do have, apparently, some instances where uh, felons are going around mailbox to mailbox to harvest ballots. Presumably, I, th I think we can probably infer what their political leanings would be. You got a soft on crime governor who's potentially removed in favor of someone that the legacy media has said over and over again now is dangerous, terrible, extreme, hates minorities and shit. Well, yeah, naturally, uh, you're going to get a few ideas in your head. You're already a felon, so I guess living out of a car or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Your self-interest is Newsom not being recalled. It's probably as simple as that. Sadly, it might go further. But you won't hear about it. It won't be on CNN. You're not going to hear about this on MSNBC. Fox will gloss it over briefly. Otherwise, you're going to have to watch YouTubers who are continually suppressed by YouTube's algorithms. That's about all. Peace out.